Hi guys, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video, let's have a closer look at this Lenovo Legion 7i laptop. And quite a few of you have been asking me to actually uh, give an overview about some gaming laptops. So I knew someone in Lenovo and I asked them to send a gaming laptop. So they actually sent me this Legion 7i, which is their highest end gaming laptop. Actually, uh, this one is slightly different. Uh, this has the Intel Core i7, uh, what do you say, processor, but this is the H series processor. And this specific variant actually has eight core. Generally, the normal Intel uh, H series processors are actually six cores. But as this, this one specific model has eight cores, cores and 16 threads and even when you talk about the GPU which is also very important on gaming laptops this one has the NVIDIA RTX 2080 Max-Q graphic card so top of the line specs I would say and I have been playing around with this one for over a week or so so let's have a closer look at the same so guys here is the laptop and this one has actually a 15.6 inch IPS LCD screen and it's 144 hertz and it can go actually pretty bright 500 nits but the good thing is that this is actually 100% Adobe sRGB so the colors and everything is very very accurate on uh, this one that's what I liked and uh, specifically this model comes with 16 gigabytes of RAM and as you can see RGB lighting almost everywhere on this uh, laptop even this Legion logo actually glows and if I open it from the back also as you can see RGB lighting almost everywhere it's sort of the overkill uh, even the ports over here when you plug them actually they glow uh, this is the HDMI port uh, this is uh, your USB port uh, you have a Ethernet jack over here and again one more uh, USB port and this is your power plug that goes it actually has a massive power brick it's a 230 watt brick and the battery is 80 watt hour battery on uh, this one and uh, with the supply 230 watt charger you can charge up to 50 percent in about 30 minutes uh, the build quality is good it's anodized aluminium on the top uh, back again plastic and a lot of opening of the vents I would say to dissipate the head uh, as you can see you can even see the fans there are two fans over here and you can open this up and actually add the RAM if you want uh, we have two speakers over here uh, it's actually down firing but surprisingly they are actually la loud and guys first uh, let's uh, have a look at the computer if you go to this PC uh, this comes with Windows uh, 10 uh, home edition pre-installed and as I've told you if we get 16 gigabytes of RAM you can upgrade it easily and while ordering also you can actually customize it but you can upgrade the RAM on this model and the processor is the new Intel Core i7 10875H, which is actually an 8 core processor. Uh, base frequency is 2.3 gigahertz, but this processor can ramp up up to 5 gigahertz. That's the speciality, and I've seen it mostly moving around 4.5, 4.6 gigahertz when I was stressing it. Uh, another thing about this laptop is this RGB lighting, as I've told you, you can customize it. As you can see, you have various modes to customize it. There's an app, I won't go into that. But again, you can customize every aspect of the keyboard. Uh, but uh, to show you a little bit more about the processor, let's just run the CPU Z app. And as you can see, this is the CPU, the, this is the Intel Core i7. As of now, I would say this is the most powerful Core i7 based uh, chip that you can get from Intel. Uh, most of the H series uh, chip generally are uh, six cores, but this specific variant is actually a proper eight core. And it also has hyper threading. That means Windows actually sees it as 16 threads. So uh, this is what we have. And again, it can ramp up up to five gigahertz. And if you go to even the caches, uh, notice the L3 cache, it's a healthy 16 megabyte cache that we are having and if you go to the memory this is the 16 gigabyte ddr4 uh, it's in dual channel but you can upgrade and if you can go to the frequency uh, it's ddr4 3200 megahertz uh, memory that we are having on this one and graphic card uh, the it has the nvidia gtx 2080s uh, super max q this is the best graphic card that you can get as of now for laptop so we have that and obviously you also have the inter uh, usd graphics also uh, is there so that's what it is and i also ran a 3d mark so let's have a look at that guys running the 3d mark test for checking the gpu and it's been running for about 10 12 minutes now and i'm in the turbo mode and as you can see it's running multiple tests but the thing is that the machine is being stressed what i noticed around the keyboard 
uh, we got the score it's 8623 in uh, this uh, 3d max so that gives you an idea about it uh, but uh, to give you an idea the keyboard as you can see it's around 35 degrees so not very hot 36 but around this k key this k and l key it is going about 41 so this is slightly warm uh, but again the rest of the keyboard is around 36 degrees celsius so again you don't have to worry but this is the score that we are getting in 3d mark and i also ran uh, some other benchmark scores guys uh, I'll, I'll also show you some gaming that i did with this i enjoyed it actually and as you can see this is cinebench r20 and this is for the cpu score we got a very healthy score of 3748 and uh, this is the crystal disk mark this is for testing the ssd uh, we have a one terabyte ssd on this one and just notice the score the read scores that we are getting 3146 and even write that's crossing 3000 so very very healthy scores uh, one of the fastest ssds that you can get so again uh, brilliant performance i also ran the final fantasy benchmark test you can also download it and run it on your computer to get an idea first i ran, uh, ran it in the high quality mode uh, that's in full hd and here we got a score of 8600 but i also ran it in the standard uh, quality uh, Again, here, as you can see, you got a very high score of 10,533. So again, very good uh, benchmark scores that we are getting. I also ran Geekbench 5 and here, as you can see, these are the scores that we got for single core and here for the multi-core. Uh, again, I ran even the OpenCL with G uh, Geekbench 5 and this is what we got. Uh, I also ran PC Mark 10. This is the Office application benchmark test and for Office uh, Microsoft Office test, we got a very high score of 10,888, as you can see. Uh, uh, but again, I also ran the full PC Mark 10 benchmark. This is what generally is used. And this is the professional edition guy. And we got a, again a very healthy score of overall score of 5,279. Um, so these are the scores. And again, I have already shown you the 3D Mark score also. Uh, this is Overwatch. And notice that we are touching almost about 126 FPS here. And I'm just using the controller because I'm used to that one. But you can use the keyboard obviously. And notice the frame rate again the frame rate uh, is uh, touching about 144 also that's the maximum of uh, this what do you say uh, computer because of the refresh rate let me actually show you if I go to options and I'm keeping graphics and everything let's go to the video at high 144 Hertz and uh, graphic quality is ultra that's the best that we can do and handling everything as you can see this so again you'll have a great experience playing this game i'm just playing it with a controller because i'm i used to play a lot of games with uh, what do you say on xbox i'm used to this controller very good experience on overwatch as you can see i had a blast playing this game uh, on this one uh, so let's just get out of this one very good experience and guys for forza i also ran the benchmark on it uh, and i've said it here as you can see again we got excellent excellent uh, scores in terms of benchmark uh, as you can see the fps it said uh, about 172 it can go uh, and again all settings at the highest graphic settings and then also uh, we had some good experience so this is Forza I played it quite a bit on the Xbox but on this one I'm keeping the settings at max so guys this is Forza and again let me actually show you the graphics first again see how well this car is rendered i'm trying to do the drift the shadows reflections and everything and i have played this game quite a bit on the xbox one uh, x uh, in 4k but i have to say here the graphics look way more crisper uh, as it's running on ultra again notice the uh, what do you say shadows and uh, everything looks really cool let me just throw the drift As you can see, 
so really uh, actually I'm liking how detailed the model looks definitely on this ultra graphic settings the car looks very crisp let me actually uh, give you an idea um, and notice the sky and everything let me change the angle very immersive this is another view oh my gosh so as you can see even this uh, forza at that ultimate uh, what do you say ultra graphic settings it is handling everything and i'm not noticing any what do you say stutter or anything as you can see if we go here also as you can see ultra smooth that we are getting so definitely it's able to handle it even in this ultra graphic uh, settings and guys playing this overwatch and as you can see i've connected to this big uh, television uh, this is actually i've set the resolution to 4k and as you can see it's playing very well and i actually i'm really enjoying it because i've got using the controller but it's connected to this legion laptop and i'm having a blast it's on ultra graphic settings set to 4k 60 fps though the tv is 8k the rtx 2080 won't support 8k but again even in 4k as you can see having having a great experience in terms of frame rates uh it is hovering between 45 to 35 when a lot of action is happening like this it's but really enjoying it and it's a blast to actually put it in 4k connect to a big television uh, i'm really enjoying playing this game and i'm happy that this uh, laptop is able to handle it so guys this is apex legend again uh, playing on uh, this one So again, uh, a pretty interesting laptop and I would say uh, I like the processor that is used on this one. This is the Intel H series processor and I would say it's not only great for gaming but I did also test it at video editing uh, particularly uh, what do you see Adobe Premiere and even the editing experience was very good and even when you export the videos it was exporting really fast thanks to Intel quick sync technology so again these uh, intel h series uh, processors are not only great for gaming but even uh, for i would say productivity tasks if you have some very heavy applications then you can have a look at a computer that has the intel h series processor uh, this one actually has the eight core but most of them generally are hovering around the six core but the core i9 variants yes those are again eight core processors uh, so again a pretty interesting laptop but this uh, lenovo 7 I, I would say it's pretty pricey so if you're looking for a gaming laptop you can also look at the Lenovo 5i variant uh, of this uh, laptop yes it doesn't have the cutting edge specs like this one but again if you're sort of a medium or casual gamer and want a productivity laptop you can also have a look at that one uh, because that one also comes with the Intel Core uh, H series processor I believe uh, you can get uh, the 6 core and even 8 core variant even with the Lenovo uh, what do you say 5i Legion based laptops overall I like the laptop I would say the performance is good uh, the only two nitpickings that I have with this specific model uh, was that uh, no windows uh, hello authentication and not even a fingerprint scanner for such an expensive laptop another thing that i did not like is that uh, around the trackpad if you notice if i press the trackpad there is that slight flex uh, that i am noticing that is the thing that i did not like but apart from that overall i would say it's a good gaming laptop uh, so again guys uh, in general, if you're looking for a gaming centric laptop, uh, I would say uh, look at the GPU that it has. It has to be a powerful GPU for gaming because that's very important. And also the processor is also very important. If you're going with Intel based processors, uh, I would suggest if you're going for a gaming laptop, go with the H series processors that are actually pretty powerful and optimized for a lot of games. And in fact, also for heavy tasks like video editing, etc., I felt uh, the performance was also very good. Anyways, guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit, and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care, guys.